And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2019 Japan. K1 Women's Flyweight World Championship Tournament and Super Lightweight Title Match. Here in Nagoya at Dolphins Arena, we've got 6,000 screaming fans ready for this next bout to kick off. And we've got a good one here for you folks. A historic match, the final in the flyweight, Women's Flyweight World Championship Tournament. Kana in the red corner taking on Josephine Knudsen in the blue. I'm Brian. I'm Phil. And let's see what happens in this ring tonight. Some history being made here. That's right. Really excited for this one. Watching sort of the different styles in the semifinals. Um, Kana with her loose light footwork, overhand right. Knudsen with some real uh, developed physical strength yeah. um, from her previous fights. It would be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah. The winner of this fight will be the first ever champion K1 women's flyweight champion. That's right. Kind of loose, light on the toes, moving in and out, blocking the shots, letting them sort of bounce off. Well, uh, Josefi Knudsen here, tight Ooh. guard, moving forward like a tank. Yeah. And this is going to be a tough one for Kana because of the pressure that Knudsen can apply. Ooh. Man, is she just looking as sharp as she ever has, yeah. is Josefi Knudsen. And she, is, she has laser locked on Kana. Yeah, it's, great to, it's great to watch in the semifinals as they play out because actually both of these fighters are looking better than they ever have before. Oh yeah, definitely. So it'll really come down to a battle of wills here and um, technique. Both fighters had, uh, I would say, ample time to rest mm. um, between their last fights in this tournament. That's right, Will, and, and tough fights um, mm -hmm. on top yeah. of that too, fighting the full rounds to get here. So they're both in similar positions. Yeah. Wow, and Josephine just looking real solid. Yeah. In her previous fight, she was throwing the hands really well and finishing with uh, the front kick, either mm -hmm. from the front or back leg. And I imagine if she keeps that sort of rhythm and that sort of combination of strikes, it will mess with Kana as well. Yeah. Wow, some really good exchanges here. Yeah. Kana in her previous match, finding the home for the overhand right. Mm -hmm. We'll see here, Josephine with a little tighter guard, a little different style. So yeah. we'll see if that overhand right finds its home or if Kana's going to have to go to something else. Yeah. Ooh, amazing. Amazing Come setup there for the mid kick. That yeah, combos are great. Yeah. I'm just still so impressed with how Yusufine, or Yusufine's coming out here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, kind of throwing the spinning back fist, but just walking herself into a left hook pretty yeah. much. Oh. Overhand, overhand, it, 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 it was there. Yeah. Um, it's ooh, funny because there yeah, again. she hit it, and then she got pushed back with the front kick, but there she took an angle and made it work. Mm -hmm. A little bit of an angle is a good idea. Don't yeah. stand down the center line with your opponent where they can hit you with that front kick. Yeah. Move off to the side. Throw it a little round from the corner. Wow. This is oh, a what great, a round. Yeah. yeah, what a round. Ooh, sneaking wow. in that straight right, yeah. too. And kind of as always, um, maybe not the output isn't as big as Josephine here, but the clean hits, mm -hmm. she's landing the clean yeah. shots. Yeah. Her shots are so impactful, especially with her punches. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and Josephine just needs to keep that guard up, mm -hmm. march forward, put her in the corner, and, and let some of those um, big combos rip yeah. with the hands. Kind of, though, he's staying out of the corner, bouncing on the outside, stepping in with the one two, taking the angle, mm -hmm. coming back with the overhand right. That's probably going to be more her game yeah. here in the second round. Both fighters very different, different styles, but evenly matched yeah. in that first round. And let's see what will happen in this second round. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better, better matchup in the final. Mm -hmm. In the first K1 you know, Women's uh, Flyweight World Championship tournament yeah. than this. Mm. Super competitive. Yeah. They both want to win so bad. Yeah, you can tell. They trained, they trained long and hard for this, for this fight right here. 
it. Hopefully, this in, this inspires more women in their weight class to uh, get in there. To yeah, get in here, yeah. More opportunity, exactly. So technical, so clean. Kind of so light and loose on the feet. And Newt's in there, just the tank Ooh. marching forward. Nice knee. Gotta be careful not to clinch up. Yeah. They're both doing a good job of fighting it though and trying to fight out. Really smart there with uh, Josephine. Then she was trying to get away from the, uh, get away, create distance for herself. Kind of mm. chased her down, but she realized that probably that right hand was gonna let loose. So she stepped back in, mm. closed it up, and changed the game. Um, Take away the room. Yeah, punch. yeah. Really, really smart there. But now, uh, kind of is goading Josephine. Oh, nice low kick. Ooh. Ooh, coming back. High with the left. This one has changed up her approach. Yeah, she's mixing her targets well. Yeah. I kind of was expecting to, to do the same, the same uh, counter rights, mm. but uh, it seems like Josephine has switched it up and now she's uh, fighting a little bit more distant. Yep, you're right. Yep, she's throwing more middle kicks. Ooh, the knee really nicely there. You know, it's just a testament to how good Kana is to see that Josephine has to actually change her style a little bit yeah. in order to adapt. Mm -hmm. Kana just does a great job of, of landing clean hits yeah. that stick out to the judges as well. Yeah. And that's a big that's a big part of it too. Mm. I would say compared to the other matches um, earlier in the tournament, we're seeing a little less body work mm -hmm. from each of these fighters. I'd yeah. like to see them both Going down to the body a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, nice uppercut. Nice there. uppercut there. Josephine previously landed a nice knee, but the uppercut looks like Connor has found a, yep. another opening. Yep. Overhand right. Right uppercut is landing well for yeah. her. Ooh. Some really good knees by Josephine as well, but they're not really doing the damage mm. that she needs them to do. Oh, yeah. there goes oh, there right again. Shots just stick out a little yeah. more, they're just that much cleaner. It's the accuracy and the power. Ooh, but oh, great front kick to to, to break up. Yes. To break up that those flurries of punches. Such yep. a hard thing to do. Beautiful timing. Yeah, beautiful timing. Ooh. Easier, it's easier to say, you know. But uh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, you know, front kick, get, get you know, get him away from you. But uh, really impossible to do. And she she did it perfectly at the perfect time, and then came back with a with some counter counter-attacks, but I think the judges are going to give that round to Kana. Yeah, her punch, her punches, they just stick out because yeah. she rocks the head back. Yeah. She gets the knuckles cleanly on the target. Mm -hmm. She emphasizes the, the last punch on the combo. Yeah. That, 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 dung. Yeah. You know, that's so important. Both, both these um, competitors are looking incredible right now, yeah. but kind of just pulling away with the clean yeah. shots there. Which means now to keep that front kick coming, keep breaking that rhythm, step in with those knees. Yeah. See if one of those uh, you know, round shots that she's throwing on top of Kana's guard yeah. can find a home. Yeah, she's fighting good. She's fighting good. She's, you know, picture perfect. But uh, when, yeah, when Kana, <laughs> I don't know if that was the smartest move for Kana yeah. to do. Uh, but yeah. Here Ooh, we go. there you go. Yeah, use, yeah, she needs to use what she has just to, uh, you know, she has, she has the reach, you know. Yeah, kind of moving so well right yeah. now, so loose. Yes, yes, exactly. Mm. Stick and move. I think, yeah, she, she could have just did that, yep. step back. Boom, Yeah. Hit and get out. Yeah. You know, I, I'll tell you, and this was in her first match as well, the semifinal. I lose track of the time when I'm watching Kana because it's just so nice to see her moving and mm -hmm. she's so active and she's so smart. And the round's already over and I'm like, yeah. oh, where did the time yeah, go? Yeah, where did the time go, yeah. Ooh, now you've been using a good overhand right there, but not the pop on it. Yeah, not the pop, the yeah. They need that, yeah. Yeah, you have to turn over the hip and let, it, let that fly like a missile. That's right. Kind of looking real smooth. He's, yep, not let herself get overpowered. A little bit of clinching here. But they're fighting their way out. Ooh, really smart. Really smart movement. 
not one sloppy move. I think this entire fight, everything yeah. has been meaningful, purposeful strikes. Yeah, yeah, totally. No Hail Marys. Just ooh, nice right down the line. But as you said, doesn't have that kind of snap on it. Same kind of, yep. No, ooh, nice head movement there, rolling on out. These two are so evenly matched. It just brings out the, the best, the performance, the best performance from both of them that they mm -hmm. can possibly have. Coming up to the final minute here in this third round, in the final here of the K1 Women's Flyweight World Championship Tournament. I feel like someone's got to break away here yeah. and really put a stamp on the round. Yeah, it's good. It's for the belt. Yeah, it's really close here. Ooh, Conus had some good clean strikes, but Josephine as well. 40, 40 seconds left here in the third, third round. Ooh. Ah, good knee. Hanna versus Josephine Nixon. Nixon. Ooh, yeah, there's that right uppercut again, too. Just digging deep here. Yeah, the, the pace is round. so high. Just under 20 seconds here. Yeah. Kind of pulling through. They're just Kinda. in the trenches, fighting in the phone booth here. Oh, I guess you pull the head down, you can't do that. Oof. Right. Coming over the top, not finding its home. They're both just so tight wow. defensively as well. Wow. Canceling each other's attacks out. This, ha this, this, this has to go an extra round. I can't imagine it not going to an extra round. But let's see yeah. what the judges say. It's just right. so tight, man. Wow. Yep. I mean, the only thing I can say is that you know, as far as real clean hits, kind of maybe had just a handful yeah. more in the second and first round there. Yeah. Real even. Uh, the real even. Yeah. And, but I mean, and yeah. Newton pushing forward, controlling the ring as well, getting kind of in the corner. Yeah. It would be really interesting to see what the judges have to say yeah. here. Kind of does win by uh, you know in you know in these first three rounds it would be because her punches stick mm -hmm. and when they when they land you can tell yep and um, yeah if, uh, and everybody watching you know it might be something to study yep to practice with making your punches you know not only land but. Uh, so get a little bit of spunk on it. You gotta fight to the, you know, to the judge's eyes. And uh, she does a great job of it. Judge Nishimura, 29 times 28. Red color. Judge Yamazaki, 29 times 29 draw. Judge Umeki, 29 Yeah, this has, this has to go. This has, this has to go. This, yeah, this, yeah. It, it, it has to. It has to. Oh gosh, well, here we this go. The final. It all comes yeah, down to this. Final, uh, extra, it's the extra round. Yep. The final three minutes. Oh, well, yeah, you know, this, uh, this is what had to be. It, it mm -hmm. had to last until this extra round. I mean, I, could, I can't see that any other way. Yeah, you know, the history these two uh, fighters have between them, uh, each other, and then meeting here in the final and duking it out. They're both so skilled, so talented. Um, yeah, you're right. The only way this could be decided is here in the extension round. You can see the intensity on both of their faces. You can see the bruises yeah. on both of their faces. Yeah. Kind of got a little smack there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably nothing compared to the smack she's getting oh, from. Oh, Josephine, man. Josephine. Josephine here. Yeah. Here we go. The beginning of the extension round in the first ever K1 Women's Flyweight World Championship Tournament. Kana in the red, Josephine Newton here in the blue. 
Letting it all hang out. Oof. Winner takes it all. Yeah. The previous score does not count. This is a, a fighter from a blank slate. Ooh. Kana's yeah, punch is so snappy and loose. Ooh, nice leg work there. But Kana wants to duke it out. She's not interested in kicking this round. <laughs> That's right, she wants to punch it out, man. Yeah. And the reason the punches are so loose and snappy is the loose, bouncy footwork just sending the impulse up from the floor right to the end of her fist. Yeah. Right into Yosefi Newsom's jaw or body or wherever it lands. Mm. Wow. All, the, all that mitt work, all the, all the running, all, yeah. all that up to this point here for both these fighters. Yosefi just like a tank man, just solid and strong, marching forward. Who is going to prevail here? This is where, you know, this is the uh, moments like this is where the, the training, the stamina, all comes out. That's right. It's all on the table. You know, then, yep, and then it's got to be on that night. Your heart's got to be in the yeah. right place. Your will's got to be there. Oh! Kind of landing a snappy little right hand there. Those things stick out. Locking the head a little bit there. Yusuf Nixon. Clean shots. Yeah. Here's the front kick well. But do the judges see it yeah. as as impactful? Ooh. And, and getting it thrown down like that makes you tired. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> yeah. The physical strength of Yosef is just unbelievable. Yeah, both, fi both fighters are big and so deep. It's already the last minute. Yeah. Time is just Time flying, flying by. by yeah. The technique is so clean. They're so busy, they're so active. Wow. We're kind of ripping two body shots there. You know, Yosefin going upstairs. I'm trying to ooh, work, work in the body with the legs. Oh, nice one, two there from Yosefin. There's 30 seconds left here. That's right, who's gonna make the last and final push? Yosefin still sticking that front kick. Yeah. Oof, knees, punches. Trying to get in there. Trying to let the hands go. There we go. Akana's digging deep. Yes, she is. 10 seconds. Wow, she's pushing Yosemite back to the ropes, but now Yosemite's off the ropes. They're exchanging hooks. I'm working back to the ropes. Wow, I don't, I don't know. These guys could probably fight until they die. It would be so close. Yeah, you know? yeah. like, Is there an extinction to yeah. the extinction? <laughs> wow. I would not want to be the judge for this. And I, would, I don't know. So close. I mean, I can say there were two or three strikes that kind of threw there. Yeah, that's the... That stuck out a little bit. But, oh my gosh. Not, not for a championship belt. You Ugh. really want it. You really want somebody to pull away. Oh, it's so tough, yeah. man. Yeah. Jeez. Oof. So well prepared. You know, there was a good clean oh. shot. But Josephine just yeah. shrugs it off. Driving forward, throwing these herself. Yeah, a phenomenal effort from both both of these competitors. お待たせいたしました。ハンデキックを終了いたします。ジャッジ西村。10対9。赤から。ジャッジ梅木。10対9。青野とさん。ジャッジ山崎。10対9。Wow. There you have it. Yep. The first ever K1 Women's Flyweight World Champion. Anna. This is what she's always wanted. Holy cow. Wow. She, this is what she's always this is what she was fighting for, you know. Yep. For a long time. It must be such a relief. What a phenomenal job by Kana, by her team. Um, yeah. Making history, making yeah. history here in K1, man. Breaking new ground, giving hopes and dreams to That's all sorts of yeah. other fighters that want to make it up in the ranks in the future. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, what a phenomenal. <laughs> she wants that belt too. <laughs> yeah, don't we all? Yeah. Everyone wants the hardware, but there can be only one. The Highlander man. Yes. <laughs> Connor McCloud. <laughs> the McCloud McClan, whatever. <laughs> Wow, what a fight. Yeah. And it's so close. It's just I can I can I can feel for Josephine here because she was so close. She obviously prepared so hard. Yeah. And to be just a, a single point, you know. Yeah. <sighs> Unbelievable. Yeah, for our viewers out there, yeah. Um, if you know any women that are in this weight class, come to Japan. That's right. Bring them on through, man. <laughs> come try to get that belt. I, you know, a belt is a belt is a belt. Is like what makes the belt is the, the quality, the competition, yeah. the, the matchups, the fights. And this was, there were some great matchups in this tournament here. Yeah. Um, so that the value is right there. The value you can go back and watch all of that. You can watch all the action, mm -hmm. and you'll see the value in the belt there right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, the I can only imagine the uh, sense of accomplishment and re relief Kana must be feeling in gist. Yeah frustration that Josephine must be feeling to be so close. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well done. And Japan does have tons of, uh, you know, women fighters, mo mostly in different uh, martial arts like, uh, yeah. you know, karate, the various karates and, uh, Sure, sure. Judo, oh, yeah. judo, mixed martial shield. arts, yeah, and judo. MMA. You're right, man. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of opportunities for women to compete here in Japan. So hopefully, with this, uh, yeah, with with uh, Kana's win here, and um, yeah, just her amazing skills could yeah. inspire or you know, um, you know, get more women interested. Yeah, coming through. Well, you and I both have daughters of our own. Yeah, so yeah, maybe one day. I don't know that I want my <laughs> daughter stepping in the ring, yeah. maybe. Not maybe. Wakanda, no, probably not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> or, or, or Yosef. But yeah, but, yeah, but definitely. You know, it's, uh, what a journey. Yeah, yeah, phenomenal, man. Really, and it's just great to, to watch their careers, you know, and their development. And they both were their best selves for this matchup right here. Maybe a second place. Well earned second. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I would call this, you know, uh, oh man, yeah. Uh, point, point. Uh, I don't know, one point five place. Oh, she, <laughs> yeah. You know, she worked. She, you you know, know, she, she worked hard. Yeah. Trigonometry. Or, yeah. You know, <laughs> run a logarithm on that. To, yeah. Seriously, <laughs> man. Because come on, so close. Yeah. Now here's some, we got some words from Kana. こんにちは。ホラレス選手、メロニー選手、この K1の女子の舞台にもっともっとたくさんの女子の選手が目指してほしいと思います。それを先頭切って自分がしっかり覚悟を持ってこの K1を背負っていきます。K1 
Oh, there you go, oh. another A1 Psycho. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, man, we have well, well done uh, accolades to come. Yeah. Fabulous. Mad props. K1 World Grand Prix 2019 Japan, K1 Women's Flyweight World Championship Tournament and Super Lightweight Title Match. See you next time.